Hey guys! So today I'm going to be talking about something that is very, very, very personal and like extremely hard to talk about on camera. I'm going to be talking about my anxiety, panic attacks, and psychosis. The reason why I'm doing this video is because this is something that I feel like I have to talk about. This is something that is very important to talk about and I think a lot more YouTubers should talk about things like this or celebrities. Anyone who has like a stronger voice I guess. Um, like a lot of different people think that YouTubers are perfect or celebrities are perfect and that's really not the case at all. Yeah, so basically um, I went through depression from 8th grade till 9th grade. I'm not going to talk about depression in this video just because I already made a video about it and I'm going to link it down below if you want to check it out. It's kind of more of an advice video. But yeah, I was depressed and it got really bad in the middle of 9th grade. That's when I started self-harming and that's when I was very, very suicidal. That's when my anxiety was the worst and it went just worse and worse and worse from there. Even when I got out of depression, my anxiety was still building up and getting worse and worse and worse. So first, I just kind of have to tell you guys what anxiety is and what panic attacks are because I know some of you guys don't really know what that is. Okay, so first things first, anxiety is very, very, very common and mental illnesses in general are very common. So you're definitely not alone. I think there's like one out of four people who will suffer from mental illness, like some kind of mental illness, and I think anxiety is one of the most common uh, mental illnesses. So basically anxiety is like a big group of different anxiety disorders. So you have panic attacks, you have OCD, social anxiety, and other different ones that I don't really know the names of. Anxiety is basically worrying and stressing about things that other people who don't have anxiety wouldn't stress over or wouldn't stress over as much as you do. So basically you stress over the things that aren't worth stressing about and the things that are unlikely to happen. So it's like, oh, we're going on a boat tomorrow and then I'm going to have a panic attack and anxiety attack and go all crazy because I'm going to think that this boat is going to sink and we're all going to drown and die, which is not very likely to happen, but you just overthink everything, stress about everything way, way, way too much, like going to the doctors. I personally was never afraid of doctors. Now that I have anxiety, like every time I go to a doctor, any type of doctor, I just have panic attacks. I stress over so much about going to the doctor and then when I get there I'm like why did I why did I ever worry about this why was I stressing over and over and over about this and then when I come home I'm like wow this is not this wasn't bad this was actually pretty okay so you know you just stress over the things that don't really matter that much and your body thinks that it's in danger and um it just like it acts like you're actually in danger and you start to panic and yeah, panic attacks are basically the same thing but it's like an attack so it lasts I think from 5 minutes to 25 but you can have panic attacks in a row so like one panic attack and then you don't have one for like 5 minutes and then you have another one so I usually have them for like 5 to 10 minutes, they don't last that long. Basically your heart goes crazy. It like you feel like it's literally gonna jump out of your body and you start to sweat. I Every time I have a panic attack I feel very very sick, like I'm gonna throw up. Um, I usually get very shaky um, and it's usually very very hard to breathe so it kind of feels like you're drowning. Um, and I would usually panic about like time. I was just so scared of everything and everyone. I would just sit in my room, I didn't want to leave my room or my house. I was so scared to even like leave my room and just go to my bathroom because I thought that someone's gonna kill me or I don't know and like when I was walking down the street I thought every person that, that passed me I had like an anxiety attack because I thought they're, they're gonna do something to me or yeah I was basically scared of everything and, and, and everyone I would have major anxiety every single day before school I would get a panic attack every single morning almost like at least once a week um, and then it got really, really bad um, in the summertime, so last summer. 
Um, and I would get these like kind of like movies in my head. It's like thinking of a dream that you had last night. For example, I had to go pick up my brother because my dad couldn't, so he asked me if I can. And every time I would have like, I remember I had like five panic attacks in a row just because I had to pick up my brother from kindergarten because I, um, I was like seeing these these movies clips. I don't know that like a car hitting my little brother, he's like, he was three back then and I would just get so freaked out that something's gonna happen and he's gonna die or we're gonna die or something like that. I would like get these clips in my head of me jumping off of a window and yeah, so that's kind of what my anxiety is like for me. I had like a panic attack just driving past my school, I just drove past, not even, didn't even meant to go in there. I just had a panic attack, like a full on panic attack just because I drove past my school. So just like really dumb things like that. Okay, now I'm going to start talking about psychosis. So basically, um, it's like three weeks before I started school. I started like seeing things so I'd have like hallucinations and at the beginning it wasn't like anything bad it was just like anxiety but really really bad anxiety um, and my psychosis it isn't actually a psychosis it's like a lighter version of psychosis I don't know how it's called in English but um, it doesn't last as long um, and you don't have it for the rest of your life and it's not as bad um, and it's basically just really, really bad. And some doctors just said that my anxiety is so bad that I have hallucinations. Um, I started like seeing things. I would just see it in like the corner of my eye. So like if I like I kind of see my hand right now, and then I would look and there wasn't anything there. So it's just like imagining all of those things. And then um, I started seeing things that I knew that my mind created. So it was like if I told you right now, imagine a chair right here. And if you can imagine a chair right there, then this is kind of what I saw. But it was, my mind did that on its own. I didn't have to think, oh, there's a chair right here. You know, my mind did that on its own, if that makes any sense. So that was usually how my hallucinations were. I know that people who actually have psychosis, um, you know, see things that are actually real and they think that, you know, it's actually real, it's actually there. Um, and they don't know that there's something wrong with them, but I knew that there wasn't, you know, there was something wrong, but Then it got worse from there. So sometimes I had hallucinations where I would actually thought that it was there and So I started seeing different arms like that Were just like disgusting arms because I knew that there was something wrong before it was like slowly getting bad So that's why I kind of knew that, you know, I have a problem. That's why I like knew that, you know, this is something that's just in my head, even if I actually saw the real thing, I still knew that, okay, this, I, I'm like the only one who can see this. But yeah, then in September, my school started and I went to a different school. I started high school and my high school is like an hour away from where I live with a bus. I was in a bus for like two hours every single day, which is like the worst nightmare for anyone who has anxiety usually, so. That really, really sucked, so that was really bad, and then also the whole, you know, tests and exams, all that, that was really, really stressful, and that just made everything worse. So in about October, that's when it got really, really bad, and I started seeing this guy that was, like, dressed completely in black, um, his hair was, like, up to here, black hair, very, like, mysterious, um, he seemed very familiar, but I've never seen him before, I think, so it was just like a random guy. And he would just like stand next to me when I was doing something. And obviously I was very, very afraid, I was very scared, and it was absolutely horrible. And then in a few weeks he actually like had a knife in his hands and he would just like stare at me. He d never said anything, he would just stare at me with a knife in his hands and just... I would obviously be absolutely terrified and had a panic attack like a few times a day and it was really really bad and that's when I also started getting these pushed thoughts that's how my therapist calls them they're basically like thoughts that you think that they're not even yours they're just like pushed into your head so I would have that like every single day for a few hours um, and I would actually have these 
conversations in my head. Basically, in my head, there I kept on saying, like, oh my god, no, okay, uh, yes, I don't know, what, uh, where, you know, just short words that didn't make any sense and that was like repeating over and over and over again for like a few hours so in school I couldn't pay attention at all um, my grades were really good at the beginning of the school year and then they just went downhill from there um, and I spent most of my time in my room alone it was very sad um, I said no to everything like every if someone wanted to hang out with me it was like no way no how you know I was just like scared of everything and it was like a challenge every single morning to get out of bed. And just a reminder, nobody really knew about it except for two of my friends, I think. Um, I know it kind of sounds stupid now, like why didn't I tell anyone? Um, but I know that people who have mental illnesses understand this, that you are very confused. And personally, I felt like no one's gonna believe me. I don't know, I was just kind of afraid to tell someone. So yeah, but my family did find out eventually. So how that happened was I was in a gym class and I, it was like almost the end of the class and I had a panic attack and it was pretty bad. I've had worse panic attacks before, but it was like a pretty bad panic attack. Um, I was like very nervous. I don't know what was going on, but I was super nervous. So I started to have a panic attack. Um, and then my teacher kind of like sent everyone out because it was like pretty much the end of class. Um, and then she sent me to the counselor, I think it's called, like the lady that kind of helps you if something's wrong and I don't know. Um, and she like, the teacher, gym teacher told me that I have to be very honest, you know, try to be very not honest and just tell her what's going on. And I did, I don't, still don't know why, but I just told her because I was like so done with everything, so... I just kind of told her what was going on. Um, then she called my dad and um, she explained everything to my dad. And, and then me and my dad went to the hospital where there's like a floor, uh, there's like a few floors in the hospital and like one of the floors is like where psychiatrists are and where therapists are and people like that. So I talked to one therapist and I didn't really like him, he was like a guy and I don't know, I just didn't like him at all. And then I talked to... Um, a psychiatrist, I don't know if she's a psychiatrist, psychologist, I don't know, I don't really know the difference between those, but um, she is actually my therapist still to this day. I love her and I talked to her and she kind of explained everything and she put me on medication which was for psychosis and then I started seeing her um, like once a week and we would just kind of talk and I love going there I, I it really really helped me and medication also really really helped me and she basically told me that you know I have to do things that make me happy and I have to, I have to not stress over things like school and things like that so I dropped out of school um, and I didn't really want to do that but that was like pretty much the only option um, so I eventually got a lot a lot better and uh, I came to the point where I didn't really have hallucinations anymore but um, at the end of November my aunt actually passed away. I was kind of trying to go like back to school and all that so I went to school and before that my dad kind of explained, explained to me that she's probably going to pass away soon and um, it's like you know, we should like say goodbye to her and all that, so I went to school and um, I was like crying and I like couldn't go to class so I didn't, so me and my friend went to like the lockers, because we have them like in the basement, and I saw the guy like smiling at me, kind of like, like what I've done, <laughs> So um, then a few days after that my aunt passed away and I was actually really scared that it was my fault, like the man that I was seeing, I thought that it was my fault, I thought that she passed away because of him. So I was blaming myself a lot and I felt very, very empty, like I didn't feel sad, I didn't feel obviously happy, but I was very, very empty and I, I don't know if that's kind of hard to explain, but you basically feel like you don't have any emotions. Um, and I had a really bad like hallucination, psychotic something, I don't know, so I uh, was like laying on the floor in the hallway 
I don't know how I got to that point. I don't know what happened. I didn't drink or anything like that. So just to clear that out, I was just very psychotic. Didn't know what what was I doing. I was just all of a sudden laying on the floor in the hallway of my room, um, like in my house. Um, and I was just laying on the floor and then all of a sudden I saw my aunt in like a monster form and she started choking me and I like started shaking and a lot of like doctors when I explained to them like what happened and what my mom like explained to them kind of you know what I was like they all thought that I have like epilepsy so like my panic attack all that was really really bad and obviously I was really scared I was actually like choking because I thought this was like so real I was actually choking um, so yeah then I um, I talked to my therapist and she said that, you know, that was expected, you know, when something bad like that happens, it will, like, get better again. And then uh, I went to the mental hospital, um, <clears throat> just kind of like rehab, I guess. I don't know how you call it. It is basically rehab. Um, and I was there for about a month. And um, I, when I was there, I was already a lot better. So I was being a lot more positive than a lot of other people, I think, and um, it did help me, I think. Uh, they didn't really tell me anything new. They put me on another medication, which was for anxiety. Yeah, and I did like learn a lot there. It totally like opened my eyes. I saw so many people there, uh, teenagers, because we were just like teenagers there, um, and I saw how terrifying it is like I saw so many different people there for with so many different stories that were just so sad and terrifying there's you know people there who uh, were abused raped just a bunch of awful things and um, it totally like opened my eyes and because there was so much negativity there and I saw how negative most of the people there were I was like, you know what, I don't want to be like this. I want to get better, and I'm going to get better. So after a month, I always wanted to go home. I was so homesick. I just, all I was thinking about was how I can escape and go home. So when I came out of the hospital, I just wanted to make sure that I'm happy and that, you know, I'm not going to go back to that place. So I started to do a lot more YouTube and again, a lot of things that made me happy. I was still on medication for anxiety and I was on medication for psychosis, but I only took them when I felt like I needed them. And then I was just like, you know what, why am I still on these, on all of this medication? Like, I don't need it. I I'm sure that I can deal with this on my own without me so many medications. So that is what I did. I went to my psychiatrist and I told her that, you know, I don't want to be on all that medication. I think that I can deal with this without it. So she was very, very proud of me. And I started just doing a lot of things that I was so scared of doing before. And I started going to like different meetings for YouTube. I started, um, I went to like different events. I actually went to like parties. I just started doing a bunch of things that I didn't even consider doing before. I passed all of my exams so far. And yeah, basically my main focus was just to get better. And that is what I did. And I still obviously have anxiety and panic attacks, but they are a lot, a lot, a lot better. I haven't had a full on like panic attack in more than a month now. Um, I do still have anxiety. I felt very, very anxious today before filming this video. Um, so I do still have anxiety, but it's so much better, like so much better. I'm actually like not so terrified and scared of everything and everyone. I can like actually enjoy life and it's so awesome. And I really, really suggest for anyone um, out there who's struggling with mental illnesses to just tell a parent or a teacher, someone who is older than you and someone who will know what to do, telling your best friend isn't going to be enough, just so you guys know, because that's it's great to have someone to know what's going on and someone to support you, but that's not going to be enough. You have to tell someone and get help, because if I told anyone before, and if I told anyone before when my anxiety wasn't as bad, 
I wouldn't go to my to mental hospital. I wouldn't start like seeing all of those things. I wouldn't actually have to go to my freshman year again because I am going to have to go to my freshman year again. So yeah, that's going to be great. Um, so I'm actually going to be in high school for five years. And if I just told someone before, I wouldn't have to do all of that. And that would be amazing. But so yeah, that was my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope um, I helped you in any kind of way. Uh, if you want to share your story or if you need any advice, you can just um, leave them down below. I'm sure that no one's gonna like judge you or anything like that. I feel actually really great that I talked about this. I think this is very important to get out there. And just so people kind of know that even if you like see someone on the street and you think, oh, they're perfect, they have their life together or you try to judge them or just like say something mean to them, just think before you say anything because they might be going through something that you can't even imagine going through. So yeah, I love you guys and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye.